You know, throughout the holiday season, we've been talking a lot about our health and just being in the Christmas spirit and all those kinds of things. It's all tied together this month, don't you think? Oh, very well. Well, I'm glad you're here. Joined by Dr. Binks from Texas Tech's Nutrition and Metabolic Health Initiative. And we are talking about those gifts of health. So tell us, what are those gifts of health and how do we get them? How do we maintain them? When we first talked about this topic, I remember the day that I gave a girlfriend a gym membership for Christmas. <laughs> and a man never forgets that day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she'd asked for it. But so I, I think that it's really <laughs> important to be able to support people in their health efforts yeah. if that's what they're interested in. Mm -hmm. and, and what we have out there are so many gadgets and gimmicks and weeding through all that can be a little difficult. Yep. Um, but I always take the, the bottom line is if a person wants something that they think is going to be useful, if you're mm -hmm. talking about the watches and all of those other things, yeah. um, then it's a motivator for them. So so I think if, if somebody thinks that it's going to be helpful, as mm -hmm. long as it's not some of these like potions and sure. things. Sure, sure. Well, I like the idea of giving somebody something that's going to help push them in the direction that they're trying to go. So I like that. I, that's a great idea. But how do we make sure that <laughs> we're doing it in the best light and that it, it's not something that's going to come off negatively? Well, I think that one's really important, and it <laughs> falls into the, the idea of how do you support people right. who are trying to be healthy. Exactly. And, and I think you, you can follow their lead, because if somebody is always, if they ask, mm -hmm. you know, if they ask for your help, that's what we teach people to do, and I think that's important. Okay. Or if they're, if they're maybe not going to ask you directly, you can always, if they're trying, if they say, well, they'll drop little hints, like I'm just trying to eat more healthfully, and then you give them the choice of what restaurant to go to, or okay. you ask them what they might want without put shining a big light on right. it or what are you allowed to eat and all that but just kind of giving them the power to make some decisions about health when you're out with them that makes sense i mean those are simple things that we can yeah. do but there's also that factor of you right that you have to incorporate in it so how do we prioritize in a way that makes sense for ourselves you know i was just having a conversation with somebody about this and and you know the caretaker in us all mm -hmm. and uh, the one thing that you might ask yourself is how much time are you spending taking care of other people versus yeah. yourself and and putting limits on if you've done one thing to help that other person this mm -hmm. week and you feel good about it then maybe you do one thing for yourself too and and figuring out almost keeping a little bit of a balance sheet so that you don't put yourself last very true. I like that. One gift for me, one gift for them. No? <laughs> a gift of <laughs> kind of, Kind of along that same realm. I want to see your tree at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I do spend most of my time buying for other people. But, I'll, you know, every once in a while i got to buy for myself. Thank you so much. These are really good, helpful tins, tips and, and the perfect timing. So thank you so much. And there are your, on your screen, you can reach Dr. Binks at 806-742-NMHI, and that's 6644. Thanks again, Dr. Binks. Thank you. All right, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Trends and Friends.